Well, we've heard of small businesses struggling to stay open during this pandemic, and today our Brenda Matuti shares how two CEOs of a local company are giving up their salaries to ensure the survival of their business. A breakfast diner that's typically serving hundreds of customers a day hasn't seen a sitting customer in almost a week. Jordan Jaredat and his brother Ramsey own and operate two restaurants, Chops and Eggs and Ginger Cafe. And like many other businesses, they struggle to keep their employees on staff as the spread of COVID-19 continues to shut down business after business. So in an act of generosity and an effort to keep their restaurant running, Jaredat says they're choosing to give up their salaries and pay their employees instead. We have, we have kids, we have a house, you know, we have also expense, but we're not, we're not taking it. We're going to squeeze ourselves a little bit so we'll be able to pay their payroll. The business is still making small revenue by selling wholesale items. Eggs, toilet papers, fresh orange juice. But Jaredat says this was the only way he could take care of his employees financially. For a minute there, all of us were worried, like, what you know, what are we going to do? And um, just trying to make it through. Last night, Jordan sent every employee a message, a video message, encouraging us, telling us that he's, we're not in this alone, he's with us. I will split my last dollar with you guys. You are my family. Between both restaurants, there are 60 employees still getting paid, thanks to Jaredat's altruism. On top of that, Chef Jordan and Ramsey gave all 60 of their employees two and a half dozen eggs free of charge. Jaredat says small business is the backbone of the American economy. Those 60 employees, they have houses, they have cars, they have car insurance, they have buy groceries. If those 60 employees be unemployed, everything will stop. And making sure his staff stays afloat is his priority. This isn't permanent, this is temporary. This is not the end of us. We are going to stay strong together. Reporting in Corpus Christi, I'm Brenda Matuti.